I am. Goed van jou, liefje. Hey. Um. And what is really cool about this diffuser is that it is adjustable. The lowest temperature is much lower than the Dyson. Hi, I am super excited today because I am finally able to try this Dymo Air Hype and I have heard so much about it um, it seems to be a super good dupe for the Dyson dryer and I also own that one so uh, I can compare it um, some people even say it is better um, it comes in this amazing box and well let's open Oh wow, it comes with a um, travel bag, I love that, the Dyson doesn't have this. And as you can see it has three attachments, um, I'm very curious about the diffuser. This is the design, I think it's pretty cool, well uh, let's plug it in. As you can see, when you plug it in, it says off. Well, let's switch it on. Wow! The power is really amazing and I am surprised by the sound because it is much more quiet than other hair dryers. With this upper button you can switch the speed. So, now it's on high lowest and medium and now we lower the temperature with this button oh amazing this is super cool now you can see here it's 25 degrees and now i go up and up and up this is the highest temperature pretty cool the dyson doesn't have the display and I must say the lowest temperature is much lower than the Dyson because the lowest temperature on the Dyson isn't that low in my opinion it is a bit too hot for curly hair and it results in more frizz so I am very surprised and now we go to the attachments first I have this one um, it's magnetic so that is super cool. I think this one is amazing when you have straight hair. Uh, I personally never use this. Now we have this one. This one is amazing when you do a blowout. I have never done a blowout. Uh, but I think it is also amazing to lift up my roots. So I think I will experiment with this one. So and now my favorite attachment diffuser and what is really cool about this diffuser is that it is adjustable you can rise up the prongs so the air can easily reach and dry your roots which is quite difficult with a normal diffuser it also helps to lift your roots for more voluminous results you can drop down the prongs for a fuller body and more bouncy curls i am more than excited to try this air hype so let's get started I first detangle my hair after washing and conditioning it. I always divide it in two sections so I can apply my products more precious and evenly. I lift different parts of my hair to make sure the products get everywhere. I repeat this step with my moisturizer, my homemade flexi gel and finish with my gel, so three times in total. To minimize frizz and get super defined results, I use my tangle teaser. Again I take different parts and brush away from my scalp for more volume. Now I add a bit more water to the second part of my hair. Water really helps to get smooth and defined curls. 
I repeat the same application method as before, applying products and smoothing down my curls in small sections. If you are curious about the products I used, you can find them in the description below. Again, I finish with my tangle teaser. I add a bit more water and smooth it down to areas that got a bit frizzy. Now I start scrunching with a set of pillowcase to help the clumping process and to get rid of the excess water. I always use satin because I think it causes less friction and frizz than a microfiber towel. Well, I think I'm ready to start diffusing with the Timo Air Hype. As you can see, I start with the prongs down. I'm really impressed by this adjustable design from Timo. I haven't seen it before. The diffuser attachment is also a bit larger than the Dyson Supersonic, so I can dry a larger area at a time, which is time saving. The diffuser works like a sieve by allowing air to circulate more effectively around the curls, creating an air dried effect that maintains the integrity of the curl and it really minimizes frizz. curly hair you have probably come into contact with a diffuser. Most curly girls are familiar with it. Some of you love it and some of you hate it. Personally I have been air drying my hair for years because I was so afraid of using a diffuser. I really feared frizz. But since I tried it a couple years ago I am a huge fan of the diffuser. As you can see I always start with the lowest temperature. I will alternate with a medium temperature later on in this video and I will tell you why in a few minutes because I wasn't ready yet with telling you why I'm so in love with my diffuser. For me it really is that life-saving device that speeds up the drying process if you don't have 7 hours to air dry your curls and it also helps me to enhance my curls and it gives me so much more volume. So now I want to share a tip with you. Next, I will push this button to increase the heat to 60 degrees and after about 10 seconds I will push this button all the way up, that is the cooling button and in my opinion this way I get more spirally curls and more volume. So let's start. Finishing with a low temperature also really helps to set the curls. As curly girls we know that drying our curls can be a day job. So I was really impressed by how much power this Timo Air Hype has. I would say that my hair dries much faster than with a normal hair dryer. There are three different power settings. I use medium power now, but if I would go for super defined curls, I would use the lowest speed setting. The Dymo Air Hype is not only fast drying, it's also kinder to my hair. Because of the low temperature it reaches, much lower than the Dyson. The built-in Ionic technology helps to reduce frizz and keeps my hair in its healthy state. And as a curly curl I really care about the health of my hair, especially because I also bleach it, which is quite damaging for my hair. So for me it's even more important I use tools that respect the health of my hair. And now that my hair is for about 80% dry, I will lift up the prongs. This way the air can get to my roots so they can dry as well and it will give me more volume. I gently diffuse in an upward motion and then move to a different area and do the same thing. The diffuser will catch the grouped curls and gives the air the ability to flow freely. It is important that you continue flipping your head and move the dryer rather than just holding it in one place. It really helps me to achieve much more volume. Each time I move to a new section of curls, I lower the diffuser and let my curls fall into the diffuser and then I reposition it. I repeat this process until my curls are 100% dry. But you can also stop when your curls are about 90% dry and then let the rest air dry completely for super defined results. 
I prefer a bit more volume and softness today, so I diffuse until fully dry. So, my hair is dry. It dried super quick. And also the volume is amazing. But for a bit more volume, I uh, will use my uh, favorite volume spray. It also helps to minimize the frizz that I have at the roots because I gave birth to a little girl three years ago. I have a lot of new growth and that always frizz up a bit after diffusing. Well, the finished results. As you can see, my hair is super divine and shiny. And that is very hard for my blonde hair to shine. So, okay, my final thoughts. Uh, I think with the Taimo Air Hype, you buy an amazing hair dryer, especially designed for curly hair. You pay half the price comparing to the Dyson. So I would say, Easy choice.